Hey ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode we're going to detail and discuss how the Witcher author has threatened CD Projekt Red with some serious legal action if they don't pay him more money. Now, that's going to be recapped in today's episode of the News You Missed. But before we jump into that, I just want to let you know that over on Patreon I have new reward tiers up for people's monthly contest donations. Each prize tier reflects a different prize pool that you could win if you donate to that certain prize amount. One dollar will get you my videos a day early, twenty dollars will get you a Pokemon plushie no matter what, and five to ten dollars will get you entered in to various console giveaways that I do each month on Patreon. The Nintendo Switch giveaway is always going on here, so if you stay subscribed, like and share my videos, and comment down below, you're automatically entered into that. Now, we're going to jump right into the news, and we're going to talk about how, uh, apparently, the original author of the Witcher series is demanding more money due to the simple fact of the Witcher's success. Long story short here is that the people who produced and created the Witcher game series secured the rights of the author and stated that there were two paths that they could take in which they secured those rights. The first being that the person could get a lump sum of cash in exchange for the rights to the author, the story itself. And the second path is that they could give him royalties over the lifetime of the Witcher. Well, the person who's the author of the Witcher series said, no, there will be no profit at all. Give me all the money right now, the whole amount. So apparently, this guy's pretty self-aware that he made a pretty big mistake. And due to the laws in his country, there are articles that cite this. Poland, to be exact. And they state that he does have a possible way of getting more compensation. He has an attorney, he has a lawyer representative that he... Um, he is dealing with right now to deal with the company CD Projekt Red and himself to try and secure about 16.1 million more in royalties due to the falling success of the game. He went on and stated that he had no idea that the game was going to be so successful which is why he originally took that lump sum offer and in which case the game was extremely successful and now he feels like he's entitled to a bit more copyrights. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. He's wanting more royalties and that's the long and short of the story will he get this money it's a good question it's unclear how either side is going to result but they both have stated that they would like to stay in in positives with each other because clearly you don't want the source material of your game being extremely upset at you and you don't want the developers of said game series to be extremely upset at the offer obviously the guy's pretty upset that he took a lump sum early on had no faith in the developers had no faith in the company and is now regretting it greatly later on and just wants a little bit more money because of how successful the game has become. Do you think he's entitled to any money? Do you feel that this is fair of him to ask or do you think he should get nothing? I think the developers could compensate him a little more like hey here you go have a million dollars for every game that we subsequently put out. We did really really great and made lots of money so we want to share our success with you but 16 million is quite a lot of money to ask for. That's how I feel. You could feel a little bit different. Now before we end this video I just want to let you know that I'm wearing this costume because it is now October and now it's time for me to commit myself to you in wearing costumes when I deliver the news on certain videos. So you guys are going to start seeing me wear different costumes. I went out and bought these sunglasses. I think they match the hat pretty well and the uh, hoodie. I'm a soldier. G.I. Joe. Real American hero. G.I. Joe. Anyways ladies and gentlemen. You go ahead and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Leave me a dislike if you didn't like this video. And you always click that subscribe button to stay up to date with me. Ladies and gentlemen, join the rebellion today. We don't have to get our news sources from biased media. I don't have much else to say other than Mavericks Unite. As always, good gaming. God bless. And thanks for taking time out to watch this video.